on Fandle Wheels, and we're here with another MCSC episode. Today, we're playing on Icarus Fallen, which is apparently an updated version of Icarus. I've never actually played it. And I also hear that the Diamond Route is uh, um, very, very nerfed now, and it's not as good as it used to be. But anyway, uh, I'm surprised I'm up this early recording a video. I mean, this was my goal, actually, to wake up pretty early to record a video. Uh, but last night, I don't know, I stayed up really late last night, and I'm surprised I managed to wake up this early. Um... However, I did upload something like last night, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend you go see it. Um, you know, it was kind of a late night upload. I, you know, I usually don't like uploading videos that late, but I figured I might as well since um, I don't know. I haven't uploaded in a while, and you know, I might as well just, just for the Europe viewers, I guess. Um, just ha do something for my Europe viewers every once in a while, you know. Uh, so I went. Oh God, there's. Uh, I gotta run away. You know, okay, I've I've been doing really bad in terms of PvP lately. I've just been. So Sucking majorly at everything. I just get completely obliterated, like by everyone. Oh god, now I'm getting cornered. Great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to run here. You know, I don't really know where to go now. I don't know this map, uh, being updated as it is and being all nerfed and stuff. I don't have a chest route anymore. In fact, I don't have a chest route on a lot of maps. A lot of the new maps, uh, a lot of people get chest routes, but sometimes either I just get stolen from them or. Or, I don't know, I just don't have one, like, the newer maps, like Shady Hollow and Par 72. I actually really am happy that MCSG finally added those maps after such a long time. Especially Shady Hollow. Shady Hollow, I've been, I was looking at it for a while, and I thought it was a great map, and I can't believe MCSG just recently added it. Um, but yeah, once again, really cool maps. Uh, I'm really happy that they added them. So, I'll be playing, I'll, I'll be trying to, try to get a recording on them at some point. So, ooh, this guy's trying, this, trying to come after me. Alright, I got him. Um, and before the topic of this video, I want to give a huge thanks to Sleep Pie for the new thumbnail. I paid him $4 for it. He, he's a really good graphics designer, and if you ever want to um, contact him, I think the best way to do it is uh, on Twitter. Uh, he's a really good Minecraft graphic designer, and um, I finally got a proper thumbnail for my series instead of just, you know, the food, uh, the effortless food thumbnails that I used to just look up on Google and just, you know, uh, put on the videos. And that's over. I finally have a a good new looking thumbnail uh, that I'll be using for quite a while. And you know, Sleep Pie, he also made all of the other GFX you see on my channel, except for the intro, of course, if you even consider that a GFX. Uh, but my profile picture, my banner are also made by him, and both, which I think are really, really awesome. So let's try to get this kill and go on to the top of this video, which is Minecraft as an esport, and. Um, you know, just Minecraft and MLG, and why I don't think Minecraft would succeed as an eSport. Um, now, don't get me wrong, though, like, I, I know that Minecraft has had some, uh, some tournaments and stuff on the MLG website, I, I've looked it up, and, um, I've seen, like, some Hunger Games tournaments, but, uh, Minecraft isn't really played competitively as an, as an eSport. Uh, what you mostly see is MCSG clan or SG clans. I'm sorry. Uh, I just say MCSG because that's all I play. You know, I don't know. I might do SG heroes. SG heroes seems pretty awesome. I'm, I might just add it to the survival game series because, to be to be fair, like it's not even that different from regular survival games except for the fact that you don't that there's a really long grace period. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably be playing SG heroes uh, sometime soon on my channel and just adding it to the regular series of survival games, but. Uh, I, I got kind of off topic there, but this topic idea, I actually got it off CSGO. I've been watching a lot of competitive matches lately and, and just teams uh, playing against each other. Uh, it's really fun, especially betting. Betting is a, you know, it sounds it sounds dangerous and, you know, kind of, like, kind of stupid, but betting with in-game items in CSGO, is, it's actually pretty fun. And uh, I don't know, I, if you do play CSGO, I think you should get into betting. It's kind of cool. You know, you don't have to use real money. You, you, you just use uh, in-game items, which is pretty pretty fancy and neat and stuff. Um, I'm getting really off topic, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, in CSGO, you have all these organized teams and organized tournaments. In Minecraft, however, y you just have clans, and clans aren't necessarily sponsored by anything, they're just clans that you play for fun. Uh, don't get me wrong, you can play competitively in clans, but just not, like, just not in, uh, it's not like major league tournaments. Um, so let's try to get this kill right here. Like, and the reason mainly that Minecraft doesn't suc or wouldn't succeed in my opinion as a as an esport is because of its messy PvP um, or yeah of its messy PvP like tactics I want to say no not tactics it's just it's um it's functionality when it comes to 
uh, players fighting against other players. Um, obviously, Minecraft PvP isn't really predictable. A lot of the times, it's kind of random, and you know, I don't blame Minecraft for that. Minecraft isn't based around killing other players. Minecraft was originally created as a survival, uh, as a game of survival, just surviving in the wilderness. You know, making houses and making and building cool stuff. Minecraft was never intended in the first place to uh, have it be a game where. Uh, you go around killing people in a map. Like it, that was just something that came up. Survival games. Uh, Minecraft, unfortunately, <laughs> um, isn't based around survival games. If it was, they probably would add a lot of new features to PvP. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And but you know what? I honestly think mini games in Minecraft are what still keeps it alive. Uh, if Minecraft were just a survival, a game of survival, like you know the regular old uh, original game. I, I don't think Minecraft would be succeeding as much as it is right now. <laughs> um, and I think Minecraft has gone down in popularity. At least that's what I think. I'm not too sure about this, so don't take my word for it. But um, even then, I think the mini games, the new mini games, and the new features and the new stuff you can make with the updates really keeps it alive. And if it weren't for mods and mini games, Minecraft wouldn't be the game it is right now and i gotta say i've been getting a little bit bored of it but nevertheless like there's still something in it that makes me keep playing it i don't know especially survival games i'm just really i just really enjoy all the things that people can do that people can accomplish with the certain uh, limitations built into minecraft and uh wow i really got off topic there but uh y you can you kind of get the point you know minecraft isn't wasn't intended never to like be a game where you, where you fight other players. It was an indie game just created by one person to um, survive in the wilderness, and it was never. Once again, I'm repeating myself a lot. It was it was never meant to be uh, a survival games um, game. Um, a survival games game that, that didn't make sense. But what I'm trying to say here is Minecraft wouldn't succeed at something it wasn't even intended for. Like. Uh, if people, if Mojang decided to put some more effort into the whole PvP aspects of the game and the, the different tactics and maybe add some new things to do, uh, maybe then it would have more of a chance. But as of right now, as of how it is right now, I don't think Minecraft would be too suitable to have be played as um, a major competitive esport with a lot of teams and stuff. Uh, I think it's just good as it is right now. And, however, if Mojang did decide to put some more effort into the, the uh, their the PvP code and, and just PvP overall, who knows, maybe it might happen. Um, let's try to kill this guy. But, yeah, th that's my opinion, at least. What, what do you guys think? Like, if Minecraft did have more of a, more of a, st a strategy to PvP, like, instead of just click, 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 fishing rod, click, 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 click. You know, I don't know, maybe then I'd actually watch it, and if it had, like, a bigger audience for watching the streams, uh, I think it would be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you think, uh, Minecraft, or your own opinions on this. I don't know. Um, we're not going to Deathmatch, however, which is sort of, uh, oh crap. Yeah, I'm trying to F3A right now. I haven't done this in so long, I almost forgot how it works, but, oh, I see a guy over there. This is kind of cheap. In fact, I don't know if they if they added a new rule for f 3 ing I don't think they did. Hopefully not, because then that means I'm breaking rules and I have like recorded proof of it. Um, yeah, not exactly a good thing to record your own uh, banning evidence. But yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I like the new Icarus too much. You know, it's kind of kind of messed up, or just not messed up. What am I saying? It's just kind of um, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. Not at all. Uh, if I jump down there, uh, ooh. Yeah, this is really risky to do. Oh, God. He has a bow. I thought he had, like, nothing. That's why I came down here in the first place, so. Yeah, we're gonna have a fun time fighting this guy. Oh, my God. All right. No, nah, I think we got it. Yeah, we're finally going to deathmatch. Uh, this video's gonna probably end soon, hopefully. Um, but, wow. Uh, I don't know. I woke up really early. So, sorry for my warning voice. Uh, I've been kind of sick lately, and, um... You'll, you'll probably be hearing me sniffling a lot, which sucks, but, um, anyway, back to some other random stuff, um, I've decided I will be streaming soon, I'll be streaming, uh, next Saturday at, um, in the afternoon, most likely, I'll upload a video to inform you guys when I'm streaming, uh, but next Saturday I'll stream a little bit of S, mostly SG, and at the end of the stream, uh, when it's about to end, 
uh, I'll stream a little bit of CSGO. That's what I'm gonna do. And uh, the reason I'm doing CSGO at the end of the stream is because I know that a lot of people aren't into CSGO. And I don't blame me, because CSGO is a slow FPS, FPS um, a slow-paced FPS, sorry. And it, it's really hard to get into, so... Uh, I won't be doing too much CSGO on my channel, because I, I need to... Oh my god, what is this deathmatch arena? What? This is weird looking. Um, but, you know, obviously people prefer SG over pretty much anything on my channel. So, you know, I'll do what the subscribers actually want, because that's the right thing to do, in my opinion. So, man, this is a weird deathmatch arena. I don't know if I like this too much. It's kind of kind of messy, to be honest. But, let's go ahead and kill this one more guy and finish off this recording on a good note. Just upload this, and then f I finally get time to relax and not have to worry about <laughs> uploading a video. Um, oh my god, that was actually pretty nice. I think I might try to record more in the mornings. It's, it's a lot more f more easy and fun. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and um, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm Fan of Wheels, and I'll see you guys next time.